here. Half a crab, um, half a crab. It's not in the season, so I don't know what our luck is going to be. Normally I'll catch him, but he's too far. Is it up this way? We're just heading up in the creek now. Go check our pot. You had two up here, right? Mm hmm. You put them there. Yeah. Well, you did, but I'm checking. Yeah. He's a little soldier crab. Wait, let me wash him off. That is a soldier crab. Now these things, uh, this is just a baby. But I'm pretty sure these are only, well, I'm mostly certain that these are only found in Australia. And they're the only crabs in Australia what can walk forward and here. Oh, what? Yeah, that was it the other day. Someone that. Uh, nothing in that. So we need to try not to break these, because these are protected, the mangroves. Well, Keep going. In Australia. Okay. Gonna have to be careful, because there could be money. It's pretty deep. So when you're walking in water like this, not like the rest of but if there was stingrays, instead of stepping, drag your feet. Home fish up here because at high tide, this is where the water's from. At high tide, the water comes up maybe a meter, and all the toad fish and stuff big fish, flathead, cod, jacks, all of that they come up. But uh, jacks, bloody, and stuff they know when they go out because they know when the tide comes up and down because they probably obviously live in there. So, in the first spot. Hopefully, we got one. Yeah. Now, it looks like anything, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's one, but it's a Jenny, I think. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. He's a crab guy, but I think it's a Jenny. That's a buck. Buck? Yeah. Legal? And yep. like claws. And the claws, so it can't bite me. Ew. Get him out. Now the legs and stuff get stuck in the pots. So I don't wanna make her lose any limbs or anything. Here we go. Yeah. Him. Oh. Yeah. Just get it out here. Here we go. Ah, uh, now here he is. So this guy, don't know how it lost any claws. Now most of you probably know this, but some of you don't. It's how you tell it's a buck or a female. If it's a female, it has a round oval. Well, shape like that, but if it's a buck, it will have a triangle. So, this one's legal, so you want to keep it. Is it full? And it is chockers, it's really full. So right here, this is how you tell if they have meat in them. You just squish it there, and if it's, mm -hmm. if it, if it like, Underneath yeah. Okay. Well, really here. There's right. chockers. There. This one is completely. How do you know if it's chockers? It. So when you squish it, it will be like shell, and it won't feel. It won't feel solid. But right now, 
it's very strong, so he's definitely full. He's a leader, give it a year. Yeah, definitely. Another mm. thing is if you flip a crab upside down, they will go to sleep. Now, will he survive in the wild like oh, that? No. Um, they it's do grow their claws somewhere. back. He is starting to grow his claw back, but most of the time, no, not really, because they can't eat, so. We may as well eat him then, hey? Yep. And so, he's... that's a good sign. We got one. Do we leave him up here again? He's only been in battles. Look, one leg missing, another leg missing. He's well, been hammered. Pot's debated. Well, no, but I... Okay guys, we're just walking up the mangroves here. Um, just going to check our pots. So these pots have been sitting here for, well, this pot has been sitting here for three days. So we're just walking up, seeing if we can find it and see if we have them. Okay guys, we just got to the pot and uh, we got big one, big rusty one. And definitely illegal and it's a buck. Look at that. Now that is a big muddy. Ready? I'll flip it over so you know. If I can, and right there, that is a big rusty buck. You get them out of season? They're oh. big, they're freaking massive. Look at the size of the thing. That leaves him. Oh shit, I hope he doesn't mind because I'll have no fingers left. <laughs> now that <sighs> is a big rusty buck. Whether or not it's full, but. Definitely legal, that's for sure. Definitely full. There we go, there we go. <laughs> that is a massive bloody crab. <laughs> Guys, we're out of season as well. We're out of season, and that was in our pot. Feel it. Is it full? Even... Oh my god. <laughs> Chocus? Like, absolutely. <laughs> Talk a block, man. That's probably the guy who won that fight with the other one we caught yesterday. That's a crab. That is a crab for sure. Put up to you. That is a crab. Put it up to your head. Look at that. Put it up to your head so we can see how big it is. That is a big mud crab. Oh. <laughs> Put your finger in there. No! <laughs> I ain't doing that. Oh, we're gonna rebait. We're rebaiting. So, uh,. All three of the pots are none bait. That one had none, we just left it. But um, we're gonna come back rebait it because we just got that guy and we got a big, uh, decent one yesterday. So, uh, you know, you have to reset. Reckon he came from that hole right there? Maybe? Okay. Reckon he came from that hole or something? I don't know, Man, that's bigger than those other crabs we got. Fish. Here it goes. Having a good line. Don't flick water at me. Bait fish. Put a little bit of water. Show us Jada, show the camera. Put them in here. Is there any water? Yeah. Over. We're just putting some of them in. Mango Jack. Oh, get it. Get it in, Dad. <laughs> oh. Whoa, 
Oh, it's a cut! Wow! Holy crap! Hold this, hold this, hold this! Oh, alright, alright, alright! Should we keep that one? That's a big one! That's the most biggest fish I've seen in a long time. Yeah, but they got a spike here, the little spike. Yeah. There you can spike, you'll cut you in the gear. Got a spike in the gear. Oh my okay. god. Yeah. Okay. Look at it. Look. <laughs> After a barra, I've got a hit from a barra, but uh, this guy, this guy works. Try to get him off without losing a finger. Oh, there we go. Now, he just hit it when I was winding it in, so pretty sick. First fish landed, and maybe not that long. So, don't know what it is, but it's a gar. And they have razor sharp teeth. <laughs> so, we just hit it. Hyper shushed. Is that Taylor? There's reef and everything here. Ooh. What do you want? Let's go and fish here. Oh, yeah, oh. Where's the reef back there? Down there. See all the different colour. Jackpot with the rock oysters, babe. I reckon. You got an axe. <laughs> Fail. This is a sea cucumber. They wee when you squeeze them a little bit. See all those black bits? That's where their wee holes are. And that's their poo hole. So that's the head. at the place at the mouth so we heard from some locals that the mouth here is prime for flooded brim really anything so what we got is a z-man right here z-man bait and little minnow little white minnow so we're after and the man told me that these are good for flathead so flathead so we're going to try get dart flathead brim even maybe maybe even like a tail or something so you can hook up. Oh, and so this one is pretty sure it is a pen, pen rod, and defense, and it is a four, four fifty. So yeah, so just gonna get it off. So I just tied a loop here. Yeah, so let's get the loop off, and then we'll flick out. Hopefully, hook up to a big one. My dad just calls any for bait right now. They're gonna use my mum, my dad using bait, I'm using lures as well. For the reason. Just gonna thread it on now. We wanna get it 
bang center right here, Come here. and just push that oh pretty hard but Come here. push that on just like that it's good so hopefully it won't rip off because it's pretty tough Don't buy it, it sucks. <laughs> We're just walking through the shallows here of this um, pre-cat Canham Sands and we stumbled across one of the scariest things I've ever seen. Now write this in the first I've ever seen. This might look like a clump of weed. This is actually a stonefish. Now these things right there is their spikes. I'll show you them after. But if you step on one, it will go right through your foot and then that, all this will come off and it's just a white piece of spine and it poison will shoot up and you need to rush to hospital as fast as you can. Now we were just walking maybe a meter off, going go to cast net, and we just thought it was a clump of weed, and then, so this is what I'm gonna show you what you have to watch out for. This. Let me see if I can get him. Right there are his spines. He will push them up, just like that, and they will go into your foot. So we're just gonna move him to somewhere else deeper where no one will step on him. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and hit that notification bell. I love posting videos for you guys and I hope I can keep doing it. So thank you for all the support and see you next time.